Hi guys, it's Carrie Marie here again. And in this video, I wanna talk about how not all light workers are of the light, okay? So this may be something you've already started to suspect and that's what might have led you or attracted you to this video. So I hope that is the case. I hope you've already started to suspect that something's not quite right. But if you haven't, this video could also help you to come into that realization as well. So let's get started. Okay, first of all, there are a lot of websites now where people are calling themselves light workers or talking about spiritual topics such as the ascension process or such as like your auras or your chakra system or um, law of attraction okay there are a lot of different topics that people are um, using these days in order to get followers or readers or even to sell things such as workshops or well workshops is the big one but um there are other things other products that they're trying to sell as well such as books and um just you know other things i'm sure you've already become aware of this that's probably why you're on this video now so getting back to the topic um what is really going on are a couple of things, okay? The first one is that there's a lot of uh, people, light workers, that, well, they call themselves light workers, and some of them actually are, but there's quite a few of them who have not really had a full awakening. So they may think, based on their some of their experiences that they have had a full um, awakening and that now they are qualified to start talking about a lot of these topics okay so that that's that's one camp okay then there is a second camp of people who are actually channelers Okay, they're, they've actually started connecting with a being who's in the, who is in the higher dimensions um, that they are bringing forth information through their mind and regurgitating it either vocally or written or both. Okay, that is what channeling is. It's like tapping into um, beings that are uh, not in the physical and... Um, communicating, okay, or or how do I want to say it, uh, transferring that information to others, okay, that is what a channel is, okay, um, so information's coming through them, that's a second type, and then there's a third type, which is the most dangerous type, okay, so listen intently here, because you're really not going to find this information in too many other places, okay? There's a third type of um, light worker, light, <laughs> three up, light worker, or a spiritual, you know, authority or guru who is actually not of the light at all, okay? And they are actually um, being paid generally being paid good sums of money and totally being promoted and totally being, well, yeah, being promoted um, in order to actually give people either the wrong information completely or to give them what is known as the half truth or in some cases a quarter truth, okay, or less so that there's some information that rings true because there has to be some details that ring true or your alarm bells would completely go off and you wouldn't you know watch or listen however they withhold the main truths they don't talk about the main truths because they don't want you to know those 
They're trying to keep you from fully waking up and just accepting these little crumbs of enlightenment or little crumbs of awareness. Okay, is this sounding familiar to you guys? And by the way, this is not something I found out all at once. This is something I started to suspect years ago and it's taken me years to piece this all together and to categorize these different groups. So my hope is that this information is helping you in some way because I don't want you to feel confused and like, what the hell, you know? Like, I'm not getting a straight answer. The information that I am getting just doesn't seem like the complete the complete kit that I need, okay? And then, um, honestly, if you're on the third camp's websites and YouTube channels, they could actually be using energetic warfare through their articles, through their videos. I have been reading articles before and I felt like I've been stabbed with something in the heart, okay? Or I have felt toxic afterwards or nauseous. These are all signs that that what you're reading or what you're watching has somehow embedded bad energy, okay? That is aimed towards you, all right? So even when you're out there doing your research, it's okay to do that. Of course, that's, that's very commendable that you're out there, you know, on the internet, looking up these websites, looking up these channels, Googling your symptoms, Googling things like, cause you want to grow spiritually. That's good and beautiful. And I don't want you to stop. Okay. That's the only way you're ever going to find your truth, but you have to be aware and you have to protect yourself a little bit when you're when you're doing your your seeking, okay? Because there are like booby traps out there, okay? So um, I want to go back to the first and second group, and then I'm gonna uh, close out the video because I want to make these shorter videos for the people who are newly awakening. I don't want to overwhelm you. We're just gonna do this one little piece at a time, okay? So we'll go back to the first group. And remember, that's the group I said, um, our light workers or want to call themselves light workers, but they don't have, they're not completely awakened. They haven't had what is known as a heart chakra opening. Okay. So when you fully start what is called the light body process, which we don't really need to go there right now, but when you really start your evolution and consciousness and your ascending or raising your vibration fully, excuse me, you will have at some point a heart chakra opening. And this opening is very important because it's only through that chakra being open that you can even receive many of these higher energies that are going to be transformational to your consciousness and to your physical body. Okay. So if your heart, if their heart chakras are not open, they actually do not have access to a lot, to a lot of information. So they're only going to be giving people the information they have thus far. And that's fine because some of that information can be like super pertinent and, and useful, but, you might find yourself wondering why their messages or their articles are so repetitive and why there's not like it, like the substance only goes to one level and then it's kind of like, okay. Or you might actually not feel like a strong love vibration from that person, but it's like their website looks all like, you know, like unicorns and freaking 5D stuff. And they're, you know, the words that they're using obviously are like, you know, terms, but you're feeling a lack of something. There's like a lack of, of, I don't know if it's compassion. There's a lack of depth because their heart chakra isn't open. Okay. They haven't gone through 
the dark night of the soul, the real dark night of the soul, they haven't gone through the suffering, the emotional suffering that that is part and parcel of ascension. I mean, we do not ascend without suffering. There is no shortcut. So if they're only talking about like the, the beautiful parts of ascension and they're only talking about like this fairy tale existence of light and love and you know, then their heart chakra, is heart chakra is probably not fully open because they are not telling you about the nasty energies. They're not telling you about the psychic attacks. They're not telling you about um, their own journey through suffering, through processing these internal wounds and transmuting them back into the light. They're not going into that sort of thing. Why? Because they haven't yet had those experiences, yet they think that they're very advanced. And this is not a put down. It's just that, it, and, and again, this has taken me years, years to realize this. This is not something I'm making like a quick snap judgment on by any means. I used to read and devour many of these websites before I had my own heart chakra opening, before I found my own real resonating information that was like, oh my God, I can now, see, you can recognize it in other people. When you've had a true heart opening and you've known real suffering and you are a, a deeper, more empathetic person because of it, you can easily recognize that in another soul, okay? It's, it's in their eyes, it's in their energy, it's in their tone, it's in their awareness. Okay, many of these people don't have it. And here's the scary part. Some of them have really big channels, really like lots and lots of subscribers. Okay, so that's the first camp. Now, uh, quickly here, we're gonna move to the second one, which I was saying, these are people who really don't call themselves light workers. They're more like channelers. And suddenly they were, they found themselves, maybe they were meditating, maybe they were, I don't know, driving a car somewhere at night and suddenly they got um, con contacted, okay, by an entity outside of themselves who started to give them information and then they started to uh, put that information out there in some form, like a website or something like that, okay. Now, there are two scenarios here that could be possible. The first one, is I'm gonna give you the bad and scary one first. We're not gonna get scared because we're moving beyond fear, but I'm gonna tell you, you know, something creepy. So some of them are not actually getting contacted by these higher dimensional benevolent beings. They're actually being contacted by, um, by a fucking man-made, okay? Um, astral type of stuff where they're basically being victims, their mental space is being intruded upon by these fake beings, okay, that are only trying to serve the old systems of having control over humanity, okay? So they're not even actually <laughs> hearing from who they think they're hearing from, but that's sad because they are being, you know, used. But at the same time, if their spirit and mind was strong enough, they wouldn't be able to be used in the first place. So you got to be careful of that. Again, you will feel like the information is kind of dark. You will feel like one word. This is so important. You will feel like one freaking word is off because they can't hide completely. You cannot hide who you are. Your speech, your body language, you, you people, beings rather, cause some of them aren't even people, will reveal themselves. So that's, if you're, you know, uh, tapped in to your intuition and um, you are, you know, trusting your internal guidance system and you're reading this article and all of a sudden, okay, everything sounds good, what? That's weird, you know, like, what? That doesn't fit, that, okay. 
that word or that tone or something will feel wrong and not of the light. And that's pretty much the camp of people who are being used um, by these fake entities, okay? Uh, the second camp, those are people who um, actually are hearing from higher dimensional beings, okay? Like they're pretty good people. They're not fully awake yet, but they are having a real connection with a higher dimensional being and they are getting lots of true information, okay? Um, I know one such channel right now, um, but, but that doesn't mean the channeler themselves, his or herself, is fully awakened yet, okay? I hope this clears up some of the confusion because there's a lot going on. There's a lot going on in this game we're all playing here. Um, but yes, I've, I've read channel information. The channeler themselves was not getting anything from their actual higher self. Okay, they're only getting the information from another being. And that's fine, it serves its purpose. Obviously, that higher dimensional being chose them for a reason. Okay, so again, you have to use your intuition when you're reading this stuff because I've read some that's like, oh my God, oh my God, this is like meant for me. This is, this is great. This is true. And every fiber in my being is like, you know, the hair standing up and I'm like, oh my God, this is so true. I'm getting tears in my eyes. That's the kind of resonance that you want to have when it comes to this information. Okay. If it's just like, you're like, nah, you know, I've read some articles where I was looking for an answer and I'm like, what? I mean, it's like so repetitive. It says nothing really, you know, it's like a waste of your time. Like you read the whole freaking thing and you're like, okay, now what, <laughs> you know? So, and that's an energy suck, whether it's uh, intentional or not, that's, that's an energy drainage. So get to know kind of quickly, strengthen your intuition. This is why it's, and I'll, I'll make another video about how you can strengthen the intuition because that is the lost magic of the universe, okay? All right, guys, thank you for watching. I hope you learned something and um, I'll see you in my next video, okay? Bye.